She's a lot better looking than you are. <laughs> you guys kidding me. That chick ain't coming back. She ain't never coming yeah. back. She I could hear her knees knocking all the way in the back row. <laughs> yeah, but what knees, man? Wow. Those knees, man, they're fantastic. Oh, oh really? Ooh, la, la. Yeah. 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 Can I be teacher's pet today? Oh. <laughs> hey, no, man, it's my turn. No. Enough fun and games. Oh, but our fun just started. Yeah. Yeah. Monk, shut up and sit down. <laughs> I said, shut up and sit down. <laughs> and if I don't, you gonna keep me at the school, huh, teach? <laughs> Will you? Huh? If you don't, I'll have you kicked out of school. Big oh. deal. <laughs> so what? <laughs> Monk, if you don't sit down, I'm going to call Mr. Kimball. Oh, right now! <laughs> <laughs> Lila, yeah. you're on probation. You get kicked out of this class, and that's it for you. You go back to detention. Now it's your choice. Shut up or get out. <laughs> yeah, you'll be making license plates for the next 40 years, kid. <laughs> and if you don't get your diploma, you're going to be working in your uncle's car wash the rest of your life. Oh, oh, oh. What do you know about my uncle's car wash? It's all in your file, Stephen. You're working there part-time and trying to earn your GED. Hey, his name's Squeegee, not yes. Steve. Yeah. Hernandez is here to learn English. Each one of you is here for a reason. Nathaniel is here on a federally funded work-study program. Mm. Monk, well, Monk can't decide if he wants to be a mechanical engineer or the next Richard Pryor. <laughs> He's got the brains to be either. Too bad he never stopped joking around long enough to learn to read. Hey, Monk, you can't read? Hey, I can too read. I'll show you. Give me that book. Yeah, Whoa. man, show them that you can read, man. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> show you. And then the Indians, Indians surround it, surround the fort. They attack. That's attacked, Monk. Attacked with bows and our rows. As the cavalry. That's cal cavalry. Cavalry defended themselves with guns. <laughs> Jill. Hey, your mom. Uh, Peter, Jill doesn't let you drive that car, does she? Yeah, once in a while, when she's in uh, a good mood. You just be careful, please remember that. Hey, don't worry, I can take care of myself. It's not you I'm worried about, it's that car. Probably costs more than this house. Thanks a lot. So what are you up to tonight? Oh, I had a wonderful evening, thank you. Yeah, with who? Mm -hmm, with myself, that's who. I happen to be delightful company. You worry me. Oh? Yeah, you should be cooped up all the time. Well, I hardly consider staying home with a good book being cooped up. Mom, you're an attractive woman for your age. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or an insult. No, it's a compliment. I mean, it's a compliment. You should get out. You know, uh, enjoy yourself. I am enjoying myself. You can't sit around and just wait for it to happen. You gotta, you gotta make an effort. Maybe I could try computer dating. You know, wanted, the perfect man. Must be between 40 and 50. 5'10", 
or over. Let's see. Oh. Must love dogs, classical music, and must be able to tolerate 17-year-old sons. Something like that? That's not the kind of stuff I meant. No, look, you can't be just sitting around. Nothing, nothing's gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere. Well, where is it I'm supposed to get? Well, you ever thought about getting married again? Peter, what a question. I mean, how am I supposed to answer something like that? I'm just wondering if he's still interested. I loved your father very much. I know. We had a special relationship. I can't settle for anything less. Tina? Tina, it's me, Gil. Are you alone? Yes. Well, let me in. Why should I? I need to see a lawyer. How did you get here anyway? I drove. Gil, you should not be driving. You do not have a license. Okay. Well, that's why I thought it'd be a good idea if I dropped by and picked you up. You know? That way, with you in the car, I could plead insanity. I mean, madly in love, you know? Once they take a look at you, they'll understand. You are insane. <laughs> I'm serious, Gil. You can get in big trouble if you get caught. Okay. Sage legal counsel. I'm stuck here for a while, okay? Looks like you are. So what are you working on? None of your business. Oh, confidential, huh? Something like that. Mm. How'd you ever end up as a lawyer? That's what I always wanted to be. It's not fair. What? Well, it's just not fair. A girl with your beauty uh, doesn't deserve to be brainy, too. Is that why you're so thick-headed? <laughs> All brawn and no brain? Ah, uh, well, you're half right. All brawn. But uh, all brains, too. Oh, please, Gil. Don't be so self-effacing. You're among friends. Well, I like to tell it like it is, you know? Like you'd like it to be. Well, I'm just uh, not big on uh, false modesty. So I've noticed. Uh, you know, there's a nice full moon out tonight. What do you say we go for a drive? Gil, yeah. huh? no driving, remember? Well, here, you drive. Gil. Come on. Beautiful night. I've got work to do. Now, wait a minute. I'm stuck here. And as long as I am, uh, you're not going to get any work done. That, I believe. Okay, well, we'll just put the work away. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh. Huh? All right. All right. But only if I drive. That was the idea all along. Oh, uh, Dina? Gil, okay. Gil, come on. Nancy? Nancy? I heard about your accident. I want to let you know how sorry I am. Oh, Harold, that's really sweet of you to come by. Well, uh, how, how are you feeling? All right, the, the pain isn't so bad tonight. Yeah. You know, oh, Nancy, you know, I know, I know we've had our differences in the past, but uh, I can't tell you how tragic it seems that, 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 that this would happen to you. Well, you know, Harold, I really want to apologize for everything I've said to you. Oh, don't worry about that. No, really, do, do you know where I was on my way to just when, just before the, the accident? Where? I was just going down to the phone to call you and to apologize for everything I'd said. Really? Really? Please, do you forgive me? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh my favorites. Thought you'd like them. And these, mm. Harold. Charles? Oh, well, uh, I guess I better be on my way. Nancy, you hang in there. Thanks for stopping by, uh -huh. Harold. Yeah. Take care, Charles. I will. You can be certain of that. Yeah. Oh, and, and I really mean what I said. I am sorry. Oh, don't think anything about it. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, how you doing? Well, the pain isn't so bad tonight. Are you yes. sure? Nancy, what, what's the matter? I might stay this way the rest of my life. What's going to happen to me? No, 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 no. 
everything's going to be all right. Nancy, I'm going to take care of you always. I'm going to be by your side forever. But what about our plans together, our future? I mean, our life. I love you, Nancy. Nothing has changed. But Charles, could you marry a cripple? Mr. Lewis. Well, uh, sorry there, sweetheart, but there ain't nobody in here but Lester's lackey. Uh, just my luck. Yeah, don't be so disappointed. Oh, I'm not, really. What are you looking for? Uh, would you believe last year's requisition for bedpans? Exciting stuff. <laughs> Getting ready to do inventory. Sounds like you're enjoying yourself. Oh, I am. Did you know that this hospital uses 40,000 paper cups a week? Really? Yeah. I'll bet that there's already acres and acres of trees somewhere in Idaho, maybe. <laughs> already earmarked paper cups, Kings of General. Boggles the mind. Not to mention all that paper they requisition to use for all that paper they requisition or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Lester likes to run a very tight ship. I'm sure he does. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you still going to that art show tonight? Uh, the Akashnik retrospective? One and the same. I was planning on it. Me too. Uh, Russ, there's something I want to know. Oh, listen, if it's for how many hyperdermic needles we've been using last month, I'll have those figures in just Russ, a minute, really. I will. I'm, I'm serious. I want to know about you and Becky. What's to know? It's, uh, over. We're not married. We never were married. And graduation is over. I'm older and wiser. And I'm glad. Of course, we'll, uh, we'll try to settle this out of court. That's always best. Keep in mind, Harold. I refuse to compromise my position in this matter. I have the law on my side. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that's, uh, that's the same way that Blaney and Croft also feel. I hired you to be my lawyer. And as your lawyer, I feel that a settlement would be in your best interest. Harold, 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 honey, you gotta help me. Hey, would you be the king to see I'm busy? Hey, hi, you Tootsie. I didn't recognize you in a suit. Uh, Looks you, nice. Uh, you two know each other? I've never seen this woman in my life. Oh, come on, Tootsie Wootsie. Remember? Well, I never. Uh, maybe we could talk about this later? <sighs> Call me. You see what you've done. Uh -huh. That uh, tootsie wootsie of yours is worth millions. Yeah, yeah, you'd never see a penny of it. If all my customers were like him, I'd starve to death. It's too late I'd do you a now. favor. Look, what's a uh, big emergency? I gotta get off the street. <sighs> you, you came barging in here just to tell me that? You've been thinking about that for weeks. Yeah, well, this time I really mean it. I mean, Ronnie's on my back. Nat, she hates to lose his prime source of income, the lazy bum. Look, this, this just doesn't sound to me like a legal problem. Well, it's a legal problem if uh, he sends his goons over to beat me up, assault and battery, remember? Harold Sugar, have a heart. You gotta help me oh, out. Look, ma'am, son, I, I, I want to see you go straight. But I, I just don't see what I can do to help. Well, for starters, you could find me a job. How? Well, so, hire me. I mean, uh, there must be something around here I could do. Uh, what about that chick out in the front office? Oh. Um, uh, well, she, she is going to be leaving uh, before long. Yeah, she, she's got, um... Yeah, she's pregnant, I know. She'll get yeah. over it. Listen, uh, I got a great idea. I'd be perfect for that. You know what? I, I could do that real well. Uh, good afternoon. Harold Webster's office. May I help you? Huh? Oh, m m maybe it'd sound a little better without the gum. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. Um... You, you you just don't understand. I, I, you see, you you, 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 you're lacking certain social graces. Oh, ain't lady like enough for you, huh? Oh. Well, uh, you know, you could teach me. Uh, I'm a fast learner. Ask for any. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Harold, come on. You got to give me a break. I need help. Come on. Besides, I uh. 
I give a mean back rub, you know. Oh, no, wait, wait. this is a law office, not a massage parlor. Oh, it's just a little added dividend. I didn't mean nothing by it. Come on, what do you say? Don't stop. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'll think about it. No, don't worry about a thing. The crew's on their way down there now. Huh? Oh, yeah, I know you can't run a laundromat without any water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm sorry about the inconvenience, sir, but if you have any more problems, just give me a call and I'll take care of everything for you, okay? Yeah, all right. Okay, thank you. You have a good day, too. Bye. Hey, Terry. Hi. Oh, boy, I wish just once someone could call and tell me how great things are going. <laughs> yeah, too bad that's not how it mm, works. No, I'm afraid not. Commissioner's not here? Uh, maybe later, but if there's anything I can help you with or... Well, actually, you're the one I wanted to see. It's about the house. Oh, great. Mitch is away, so his new partner, Dina Greeley, has been researching the deed. Yeah. Looks like we're not going to be able to transact a sale right away. Well, why not? Well, according to Dina, there's a problem. It seems that Mother inherited only half the house from my father. Half? Yeah, so I only own half the house. So who owns the other half? Daddy willed his half to Nancy. Nancy? Oh, Terry, then that means we're probably not going to be able to buy the house from you. No, not necessarily, Jean. Now, Dina is going to try to settle this matter, but what with Nancy being in the hospital, chances are it may be quite a while. Uh, how is Nancy? Still in pain. Hmm. Oh, hey! Mrs. Davidson? Commissioner, look, I'll get back to you as soon as I hear anything at all. Okay. I was just leaving. He's all yours. Oh, hey, don't let the big bad boss scare you there. I mean, his bark is worse than his bite anyway. Oh, no, really. I have to get back to the office. Gene, I'll call you. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Mm Bye-bye. -hmm. Bye. What'd I say? Nothing. Well, why'd she run off like that? Oh, she said she had to get back to the office. Yeah, but didn't she seem like she was annoyed at me for something? No, Terry just stopped by to talk to me about the house is all. Well, she could have called about that. Yeah, she could. She did ask about you. Oh, she did? What? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, what'd she say? Well, I'd say there, Mr. Prescott, if you're interested in Mrs. Davidson's feelings, perhaps you should ask her about them yourself. Lori. Russ, I'm supposed to meet Ben. I'm, I'm late. we talk? Please, Russ, no. Um... I want to apologize about what I said the other day. There's no Dr. need to apologize. Yes, there is. Come on. Now just sit down here and give me about two minutes of your time. What I said, I know I was out of line. Yes, you were. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I was just an idiot that day. Russ, you're not an idiot. You were upset about Becky and reaching out to the first person you could. It's called rebound. We've all been through it. Then you understand. I understand. Oh, good. Uh, can we be friends still? I cherish your friendship, Flory. I wouldn't jeopardize it for anything. Yes, we can be friends, Russ. I hope we'll always be friends. It's a deal. Dr. <laughs> so how's a new job? It's a challenge. Not like when we were in high school, huh? Hardly. Those kids don't know the meaning of the word discipline, and believe me, not one of them could begin to spell it. What are they, high school dropouts or something? Yeah, of one kind or another. It's a pretty tough crew, but I won't put up with any nonsense. Do they know that? Yeah. Last night I stood my ground with them. It seemed to work. Good for you. It was the hardest thing I'd ever done. I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I told them to shape up or get out. I mean, how else am I ever going to teach them anything? Uh, how'd they react? Well, they, they listened. Well, that's good. I got their attention, and they seem to have a little bit more respect for me now. But whether it'll do any good in the long run, well, I'll tell who you knows? something. I admire your chutzpah. Takes a lot of guts to stand up to a situation like that. I only hope I can get through to them. Well, it sounds like you're after a good start. I think, anyway. Oh, the hi. Hi. I gotta run. Deb was expecting me back in the office an hour ago. Hmm. Russ, dinner tonight. Seven. You got it. Okay. See you
scouting trade secrets to sell to the competition? No, looking for loose change for soft drink, okay? I should have known. You don't have the brains to do this company any real damage. I think your father realizes that. Well, as long as your last name's not Prescott, it doesn't matter what you think. This company's gonna be mine one of these days. Not if Jason takes my advice, it won't be. Oh. Where is he anyway? Out sailing. With the, uh, um, blonde. She's not a nurse, is she? Oh. How'd you know, huh? Lucky guess. Prescott 1, Landers 0. <laughs>